Hi, welcome to another video. So, Google is apparently working on a new Gemini image model that is supposed to be called GemPix. You can actually use it right now as well, and that's why I thought I'd talk about this, because it's awesome. Now, GemPix was spotted recently, not just on Google's ImageFX platform, but also in a super interesting way inside Wisk which is this experimental Google Labs project. If you remember, WISC is where Google likes to test out its more experimental AI features before they go mainstream. In the code for WISC, people have found a precise reference toggle, and under that, there are three modes, default, gempix, and something called R2i, which probably stands for reference to image. What that means is, Google is working on letting you use reference images and probably even more advanced image editing options, all powered by these new model variants. This is a pretty big deal because it hints at a much more flexible workflow where you can generate images from scratch, but also edit or remix images by providing a reference, kind of like what you get with some of the more advanced tools like Midjourney's Describe or Stable Diffusion's control net, but baked directly into Google's own ecosystem. So, it's not just about making images from text prompts anymore, but also about precise edits and reference-based generation, which is quite awesome. On ImageFX, which is Google's more public-facing image generation tool, there have been rumors and some pretty convincing evidence that GemPix is being tested behind the scenes. Some users have noticed different output styles and improved image quality that seem to line up with what you'd expect from a next-gen model. Plus, there are hints in the API responses and the UI that reference this new model name. So it's not just speculation. It looks like Google is rolling this out in stages, first to trusted testers, and then probably to the wider public soon. The fact that these features are appearing across both WISC and ImageFX suggests Google is getting ready for a big launch, maybe even tying it to their upcoming hardware event, which is kind of Google's thing lately. Release the cool AI stuff alongside new Pixel devices, and then gradually open it up to everyone else. So, this one is going to be the same as Gemini's previous Flash image model, as well as OpenAI's GPT image model, meaning that it can edit images with natural language prompts, as well as generate images from scratch too. Now, this isn't just spotted, but you can actually most probably use this model yourself as well by heading on over to LM Arena. There, you can easily select the image option, and if you want to edit some image, then you can attach it here. Or you can also just type in a prompt and generate images from scratch, which is also great. Now, GemPix is said to be on this with the name of Nano Banana. It is said that this is the Nano version of GemPix, but if that's true, then even the Nano model beats models like Flux Context and GPT Image by a big margin. So. I have tried this, and let me show you some examples here. First of all, this is a prompt that I tried where I asked it to make me a panda on a tower with the background of New York, and I asked it to keep it in a 3D style to add depth, but also keep it in anime style. And what you'll see is that GPT image made a pretty generic one that is more hand-drawn than 3D. It doesn't have enough colors like I asked it for. So, yeah, it's not good. But here, the GemPix one looks great. It follows the prompt that I gave. It also added some good and bright colors, and it's pretty great. Next thing that I also tried is that I asked it to edit some images. First thing that I asked it for is that I gave it this scene, and I asked it to add a baby panda in this scene. And what you will see is that this is what Nano Banana made, where you can see that this panda is in the exact same style as the Pikachu and the scene. 
You can also see that it even has a sense of depth, which I've noticed a lot of models lack. Like here, you can see that the panda's face is above the Pikachu's tail, while the panda also has a good amount of depth to it. It's well made. Same here with flux context. You can see that it's pretty bad for sure. I mean, it's of no comparison. So, yeah. Another thing that I tried with it was that I gave it this anime scene, and I asked it to make it a sad person. And you can see that flux context did it kinda bad. Whereas Nano Banana here made it as if it is an actual scene from the anime itself, which is awesomely great. So, yeah, it's also great. Another thing that I asked it to do was that I asked it to edit this shoe image in order to make a special edition shoe with Pokemon colors based on the design given here. And you can see that here both excel, but it is arguable that the Nano Banana uses the colors correctly and makes a shoe that is doable because it thinks through that the colors of one fabric section are one while the other section is another. Another thing that I tried was that I gave it this image of a panda and I asked it to make this into a YouTube thumbnail that is dramatic and cinematic, like a documentary video thumbnail. And you can easily see that this is pretty great and it is dramatic as well as kinda cool. Flux context isn't that coherent or anything. So, yeah, there's that. That is majorly what I have tried. I think that this is a kinda amazing image editing as well as generation model. It's so great. Many people are saying that this is just the nano model that will be available on Android locally. They are apparently going to launch it at the Pixel event that is like three days from now. So, yeah, if that comes, then it can be amazing for Android devices for sure. These models' bigger variants will most probably also be available via API, and it might be that this comes with Gemini 3.0 Flash, because their previous image gen model was marketed as Gemini 2.0 Flash Image General. So, yeah, that might be it. And integrated into the model, so that it can generate images when it wants, which can be awesome. So, yeah, this is a model that you can use right now on LM Arena and check it out for yourself, because this model is actually really awesome and great. There's that. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.